Hey folks, Quilletine here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization V as Immortal Difficulty Inca on the Scrambled Continents South America map. We've settled our first city, and I think we're going to settle our next one to the north, although there's another barbarian encampment over there. Ur does want it to be destroyed. I assume it's that one. No, it's the one here. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and it's specifically under attack, so if we can get our uh, spearmen over there, might be able to do some work. And then we'll have to figure out what we want to do in terms of some ranged units. One ranged unit makes a big difference. Uh, we went back to building the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, which if we do want it, we do have to rush it. And I think it's a good enough wonder to, uh, to delay everything else by a teeny tiny little bit. So we're going to get it next turn. So now we're going to get some serious cash from all of our uh, quarries. It's actually not even the quarries. It's just the marble or the stone worked automatically gives you the money. Which is kind of neat. Doesn't make a difference in practice, and we definitely want the quarries because, you know, improved terrains uh, are, are better, and also we get the plus two faith, but yeah. Um, we could pop out a library at this point, which wouldn't be a terrible idea, but, but, but well, we don't even have archery. Okay, we don't need to philosophy at this point. We need archery. That was actually a terrible derp. I missed that. Uh, we'll get archery at the very least. So in the meantime, what is Cusco going to build? Um... Because I will want another settler. Um, I want to grow one more size. I'm thinking like putting one turn into a library, then working on the settler until archery is done, then build the archer, and then finish the settler. It's a little bit weird. It also mean a uh, a no barracks unit, which is always kind of sucky, but you know, what can we do? Uh, you fire over here, you retreat to here, which is technically safe for a turn. Um, religion, Ethiopia, all right. And yeah, there's iron over here too. Not a ton, but, you know, it's less about getting two extra iron and more about getting plus one hammers. Uh, okay, size six is achieved. So now start working on the settler. We should have plenty of happiness. Blow him up. Now hide in the city. And become generally annoyed at the, all these barbarians. Tearing up all my stuff. God damn. Hurt him a little bit more. And then whack him that way. And then you can come over here. Where it's nice and safe. One turn from archery. New policy. Um, I think we're going to take aristocracy. Maybe we should have taken it sooner when we were building the uh, mausoleum. But um, I, I don't think getting... Um, I don't think getting aristocracy is better than landed elite. It might be slightly better than monarchy, but, and knowing I was going to build the mausoleum, I should have taken aristocracy sooner. That was actually a mistake. Something to think about in the future. Okay. We got our archery. The question is, do you rush construction or not? Composite bowmen are freaking phenomenal. Much better than archers, including slingers. How important is it that I have composite bowmen that can retreat if I get attacked in melee? It's not bad. And I can probably make do relatively well with just slingers for now to take out barbarians. I think I'm going to go back to philosophy and then we'll figure it out. I don't want to delay construction very long because it's really, really, really good. Um, being able to build coliseums is handy. And yeah, the composite bowmen are good. Uh, the lumber mills don't matter as much. The terrace farms will be pretty important for us, obviously. All right, so there's there's some good stuff going on there. Um, you've repaired that, so go ahead and repair this one. Um, and you rest up a little bit for now. And we did finish our archery, so I do want to get a slinger in before this settler. I'm going to grow a little bit slower because we're building that. Instead of growing over here, I think we do need to focus on the growth. You know what? No. These are worth three, which is pretty good. Getting out the slinger one turn faster. Is it going to help us a little bit? I like it. Let's just do that. It's okay. And, oh, you did actually pop an extra pop. You should be working the horses then. Nice that we did get horses over here. Only two. But you know what? Two horses is going to be plenty to have, you know, some fast moving units to help take cities. And an extra city state with our little roaming um, uh, scout. 
Um, no, I actually do want to get the uh, quarry here first. There's that barbarian encampment over there. I wonder if anyone's everyone's got a mission to kill a barbarian encampment, including one over there, which we should actually do first. Ooh, it's tough because I do want to settle. Hmm. It's not going to take us that long to get our um, our settler. But I think if I don't do this, everything's just going to keep getting torn up. We've got to go and blow up this camp. Helps that we've got a quest. Yeah, we've got to do that. We met Monaco. We can run all the way up here. Oh, that's actually going to be a pretty easy kill. So you know what? You can run up to this hill right away. That's going to be fine. We've got the settler going on. I'll just reset tiles. Doesn't actually save us a turn. Whatever. There's probably an optimization in there, but I'm not going to go looking for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, almost killed him. Whoa! Uh, hey, let's go and uh, return the unit. And get a big friendship boost over there. And I like them apples. And then just fortify here for now. And we'll see if we can actually be the one who successfully clear out the camp. Amazing how close these city-states are. Yeah, seeing the same thing down here, too. But I guess being so narrow, it's hard to get everything in there. Um, yeah, let's go for the clear. And you, I still think this is the best spot. We might not be able to get all the resources just because our borders might not grow fast enough. But if we can swing it, it'll be amazing. Wow. Pillaging stuff in Ur, that's kind of mean. Um, well, I won't kill it. Let's go for the definite kill over there. Parthenon, Great Lighthouse, Petra, all in the same turn. Impressive. Let's go and kill you. Oh, and you got a worker in there too. That would be nice to grab. Um, I think what we need to do here is fortify. Hopefully this brute doesn't move towards my worker. No, he's just going to wander around. Stay healed. Um, we're going to move up and then not take the shot. Derp, because that ended my turn. Yeah, let's try to wander around this way. Especially if they're going to potentially have a chance of leaving things exposed. Actually, we might be able to swing something there. Oh, good. They killed it. So I can actually rescue one, return it again for more friendship. I still have movement left because I'm a scout. So I can clear out the encampment and return another unit. Now, I might have just taken the scout for myself, but look how far away we are from where we are, which is why I didn't take the uh, the worker. And getting, like, stealing worker from city-states is fantastic, but getting a 45% relationship boost is almost always worthwhile. Look at this, 181. No one's going to break Monaco from our alliance status. Now, militaristically, they're not in a position to help us anything, but that's more culture. Not bad. Um, makes me somewhat displeased. I'm going to take that, hope that they can't kill us in return, and then just we'll run into Cuzco. City, I'll actually be able to help bombard here. Alright, philosophy. Um, decisive victory. Alright, if you say so. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work out as well as you think. Uh, I'm going to go and settle, and then I can bombard. We are going to start on a... That's a good question. That is a very good question here. First, let's bombard. Then let's bombard some more. And you can go back to auto-exploring. And you can go and improve that. Auto-explore. You can't? Really? I don't know why. Okay. Oh, we need construction over here. Do we squeeze out an oracle? Probably not. We are under three cities, which is pretty good. Uh, stonework would be fantastic, obviously. Really, really good for this spot. Um, 
probably a temple, and then we might go barracks into military units. We're going to have to see what we're going to want to do. Also, obviously, we'll have to have the National College at some point. Um, I think the thing to make sense is actually to go up to uh, civil service. Do we pick up construction at this point? We're close to Napoleon. Yeah, you know what? I don't think we're going to work out slinger tricks. We're going to go pick up construction into civil service uh, with the idea that um, if we're going to do stoneworks into temple, into barracks, and then build some... Uh, um, some composite bowmen at that point. Because I want all those buildings, and I want a barracks before I start making military units, so I think the Age of Slingers is just going to get missed. Something might happen, but we'll see. Meanwhile, over here, we can go production focus. But make sure to lock the bananas, not that there's anything else that can be worked. And, uh, wow, this is going to go pretty fast, actually. Again, production is going to be the problem here. Uh, there's the age-old question of, do we build plantations on bananas or not because if you build a plantation on a banana then the uh, jungle goes away and then we get a university you lose the science bonus but what people have to remember is that population equals more science anyway so early on in the game and this is pretty early still i think it's worth putting plantations on these bananas getting the city to grow bigger and therefore it can research faster it can science better and just generally be a stronger foe for um for the AIs, so I think that'll be the thing to do, especially since it's going to be on the front line of some French stuff. We want the city to be a little bit bigger and more powerful, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, plantation those bananas. Um, and yeah, I think we will also end up building one mine on the hill, because it's got no hammers. It will get a hammer when we pasture the cattle, unless I'm wrong. Uh, do I want to buy a tile right away? How much money would I have? I have enough I could build another worker, which I should do. Flam. And we will build, we're going to start on the library right away, unless I want to just buy the library. 400, 6 gold per turn, no. Uh, I'm just going to have to start building the library, which is going to take forever because we have no production. Shoot, I actually shouldn't have bought the, uh, the worker, that was a mistake. I should have just bought the library, but the worker is pretty goddamn good, don't get me wrong. Uh, just start the library, we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. We'll try to get it working out. Can't move the worker. The turn gets bought. And can I... Yeah, because I, I want to make sure I'm the person who takes this. Um, again, I will return the unit for the boost. Between clearing the camp and doing that, I am very good friends with Ur, who should send me some military units. I think that was an excellent thing to do. Uh, I will go ahead and start working on this banana right away. I will improve that right away. You are just going to sit there and fortify it. And we're going to go into the next turn. Oh, we're actually at the limit. I hadn't realized that. Um, this is probably fine at this point in the game, actually. Showing him my capital. He's probably found it anyway. There's Paris. Not bad. Growing pretty well. Growth over here, which means I definitely need to change these uh, tile allocations. That'll do. Oh, maybe I should have kept uh, one of the workers for that. I forgot I didn't have a... I have three cities. I only have two workers. Meanwhile, um, I think I'm going to leave this slinger in Machu for now. Uh, because I'm going to want to make sure the worker's okay. But we're rapidly running towards the end of the Barbarian Age. Actually, speaking of barbarians, I changed my mind. I'm actually going to wander over this way. Let's wander that way first and see what happens. Wait for that guy to get repaired. Mm, and then what are we going to do? Hooking up the iron, I think, would be very good. Big production boost. We are working. Let's lock all these, although I'm sure the AI will decide to work them regardless, just because there's so much stuff that comes out of there. Uh, what else do we want to work? We do need the growth. Probably that. These are not bad tiles. But, no, let's go for max growth at this point. I think that's going to be perfectly fine. Four turns to growth. Yeah, we got to get our capital bigger. Most important thing in the game. Uh, so what keeps happening here is I keep running out of the ability to like just get to the other side. I'm not going to be able to embark. There we go. I should be able to walk through there now. There we go. That's why the auto exploration kept failing. Machu has grown goes fast when you got all the extra food. Yeah, go ahead and lock that too. You want truffles. Brussels is under attack. And then there. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Embassies. Sure. That makes me very happy, Dido. Ditto. Dit, 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 dit. Another encampment over there. Which might cause some problems. Not that we're improving the terrain over here yet. But at some point. Um, I will actually send you over here to potentially assist with this bad boy. Another worker. We actually might just keep that one. It's... Yeah. I think we're going to try to keep that one rather than make even better friends with her. Although it would make us an ally. Which would not be bad. I'm definitely going to go for Barrage. Again, usually tough terrain is the thing that's actually the problem, so... Medieval era. A couple more cities have grown. Keep growing. We still have happiness, so go ahead and do that. Getting a forest. And a golden age. All right, we get a new policy. We'll finish the tradition tree. Oligarchy is pretty nice anyway. And hopefully by the time we get our next policy, we can get commerce. Uh, I am probably not looking to finish any of these trees, but unlocking commerce is good. 25% boost of gold in our capital. Uh, Big Ben is pretty nice. And actually, we might even pick up uh, wagon trains, although we don't need the lower maintenance. But we will have a lot of land trade routes, so we'll see. Or yeah, we'll definitely have to see exactly what era we're in at you know different times and whatnot. Just scooch up and then shoot over there. You can fire over there. I don't even know if we're going to need you over here, actually. But you never know. Something might spawn and slow us down, so we'll see what we can do. We are seven turns, six turns away from a great profit. Although it's semi-random. It's like six turns away until the first point we can get a great profit. Go kill that. It may be nice if you can get experience points for your cities or something like that. Although then it would make it really hard for anything to ever get taken. Let's put you back on Auto Explore. So much faith going on in my capital. Um, you know what? Don't kill it. Just because I'm afraid someone's going to go in there and steal my prize. I'm going to leave you there. Because I can't just go and claim it with a slinger. I have to melee. I have to range attack and then it'll just be open. Construction is done. Go and grab that. I am going to take it. Even though getting to be allied with Ur would be very good. I do actually need another worker quite badly, so that'll be quite, pretty good. We got a mission for that, and okay, we got double mission for this camp, so that's obviously what we're going to do next. We're going to try to walk through Brussels there, and hopefully they won't mind. We've taken the iron. Pay the iron price. Oh, that's fine there. And actually, Ur is our ally, just because we destroyed the camp anyway. We could have gotten another 45... Relationship, which isn't bad. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you, Indonesia. Way over there. Jakarta, triple diamonds, not bad. His naval bonus is not going to be particularly valuable on this map, though. Uh, you are going to come down here, and I guess we'll set up the horses first, just because it's there and it's convenient. And right now we still have some happy, so I guess we're okay. Um... Go ahead and rest where you are, and then we'll figure out if we need to help you or need your help over here. Probably we will. Whoa! Okay, we have a need to buy that sheep. Uh, so we're not getting the truffles. That is actually really annoying. Do I want to rush by any other tiles? Probably not necessary. They should not auto grow in this direction because there's no uh, resources. They'll probably go to here and then to the sheep, and that's okay. Um, up north, oh, the, with the uh, the silk, um, we may have been able to buy that. Everything else is probably okay. I could, like, rush up to the bananas. Oh, we're getting close to the ability to buy this, um, this li uh, library. I suppose I could buy the iron tile, and we could start getting some hammers a little bit faster. But it'd be pretty expensive. No, it's not. It's only 55, really. You know what? Do that. And, uh... Yeah. And do that. Did I accidentally move someone in a stupid place because things were still selected? I'm a little concerned, so let's just make sure. Um... Do I want you building the extra hammers, or do I want you to keep growing? Probably just keep growing. Anyway, we'll split the difference, we'll do the sheep. 
How's that? I don't need to rush this library. This is the library that's more of a thing, and we are working the actual tile, the actual hammer over here. Uh, so we get plus one hammers here. I think I'd rather improve the cows first. We're going to do that. Enhanced, reformed. Build a road? Probably a little too early for the road still. Are we working on improved tiles? Yeah, plenty of them. Actually, should probably do that if I did improve it. Did I? Did I finish this farm? Yeah, I did finish the farm. I, we're still going to grow in one turn, so that's okay. Actually, if I do... We're still going to grow in one turn regardless. Alright, there we go. Might even be able to find like an even better optimization, but... Meh, that sounds like too much work. Do I want to tear us up these hills? Part of me wants to just build a road at this point. For the trade routes the cities are big enough and will grow fast enough that it'll be a, a good idea i think i will do that i will start building a route um i think to around here and then south and then here well that's gonna be a long road kind of regardless unfortunately uh meanwhile you can move down here because we might need your help over there and i think this will be a swell place for us to put a cut in this episode things are going i think pretty okay I think, I hope, I don't know. Obviously, we've got to be very, 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 very concerned about Napoleon. Very, very, very concerned. Um, to the point where our capital, yeah, since it's finished its barracks. Whoops. I'm going to want like four composite bowmen. Man, that oracle's only nine turns away. What do we, do we want another social policy? Um, I mean, it's, it is a legitimately free one. It doesn't increase the cost of anything else. It also gives us some passive culture and great scientist points, which is nothing to sneeze at. But I think that while it's so no Oh my god, it's so nice. The problem is... You know, social policies are good, but the problem is that I'm worried that if I don't just pump out, yeah, like, four composite bowmen, that I'm just going to get destroyed by Napoleon. And you, after you're done your library, your job will be to build walls. I know it's not sexy, but it's going to be required. Then you'll finally get your granary because of all the bananas and probably a shrine unless we need happiness or something like that. And queuing up all this stuff is not necessarily good because it means you're not necessarily responding to events as they happen. But uh, I still think it's a good idea. In fact, here, after you do the library, you can go watermill into walls as well since you do border an AI. So, all right, that is it for today's episode. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.